donating. <laughs> no, no. What I meant was. Am I not they, woke they were, enough for were, you? Whoa! Bill Maher absolutely annihilates Neil deGrasse Tyson, and it's well deserved. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend, where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, hello, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Hello, Bill Maher. Bill Maher recently had Neil deGrasse Tyson on his podcast, and he just annihilated him. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he has just become Mr. Woke. I've done previous reaction videos of Neil deGrasse Tyson on shows advocating there are not two genders. Gender is strictly a spectrum. And the idea of dividing men's and women's sports into men's and women's categories, that's old and outdated. And Neil deGrasse Tyson has also been uh, very pro get your shot kind of guy. It is beautiful to see Bill Maher getting savage with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think it just, he represents the voice of many of us that want to say, Neil, F you for selling your soul, you piece of garbage. <laughs> Before we take a uh, look at this clip, which is great, and then I'll show you some other incriminating information on Neil deGrasse Tyson. I do want to say this. I think Bill Maher is excellent. I don't agree with everything he says. Certainly not. By the way, if you're a free thinker and you find another person who you happen to agree with everything what they say, neither of you are free thinkers. So specifically with Bill Maher, I don't agree with how he views Trump. I think he really suffers from Trump derangement syndrome. But I think why Bill Maher is so important present day, he is a self-professed liberal. And he is calling out the liberal woke leftist insanity. And I think his voice very much matters because it's easy for me on the other side, hey, I'm a conservative. Look at your woke insanity, you crazy leftist liberals. Yeah, to be expected. But if it's someone on the liberal side saying, hey, look at your crazy woke liberal leftist insanity, you idiots, that voice has more power than someone coming from the other side. That's why I think Bill Maher is such a relevant voice today. Now, in this clip of him annihilating Neil deGrasse Tyson, a man of science, you know, I mean, there's no one more science-y than Neil deGrasse Tyson and Dr. Fauci. I think they're on someone's, uh, the common payroll of someone. So this clip, it'll, it starts to, we churn the soil a little bit slow at first, but trust me, it gets hot, it gets sharp, and it gets gritty. Let's take a look. How What's come nothing makes you happy? Nothing. What are you talking you're the, about? You're the grumpiest. I, you know what I feel grumpy. like right now? Why am I feel like right now? grumpy? I feel like now I'm going to turn 65. I feel like we're on on your porch in the rocking chair. <laughs> Get I, off my lawn, I, I, you I, yuck, you. I, I'm not the grumpy one. No, 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 let me ask. Can I ask? I know it's your podcast, but I, 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 I've been carrying questions within me for you. Yeah, right? I'm playing. Okay. Carrying. Okay. Wow. Uh, so you don't, as I heard you say, maybe it, you dot it here and there, but you've abandoned college campuses in your stand-up? Every comedian has. Okay, so. Literally everyone. Let me let me ask you. Because they're too damn woke. You can't do actual comedy because actual comedy, you have to base it on the truth principle. The truth principle is very offensive to someone who bases their reality on their imagination. Hello, wokeness. If you came up today, would you just read the landscape and develop a whole other comedic repertoire that does not end up having people pick it outside your thing? I would, are, are, I, are you just transposed and you're not adjusting to the shifting terrain? So is why is it their fault and not your fault? Well, you're, you're being so broad about the whole thing. Yeah, I am. I am. Well, but that doesn't work because that doesn't <laughs> ever explain anything. If you want to talk about specific issues, I, I it's funny, you know, this subject comes up a lot of times with like people who are, you know, my friends who are around my age, 40. Um, <laughs> no, and they have like kids who are like super woke and drive them fucking nuts. <laughs> I got woke kids. I will never be as woke as my kids would want me to be, ever. I wonder how woke you think your kids want you to be, Neil. I think you're setting a world record pretty well as it is. Yeah, but you're a little too. Still. <laughs> uh, and, you know, woke does not automatically mean better. Newer does not automatically right, mean that's better. True. So that's why I say to talk broadly is bullshit. You have to like talk about what specific you know issue are we talking about? The ones that get, get people's attention are gender issues. Yeah, I know, but that, what? Uh, things like that that well, okay, this but is Bill, very you, different. You cut your teeth 
in but the seventies. What, what I'm saying is, and you read the you read the room. Okay, but I'll answer. You read you. the politics. And you, and you, I, I didn't read the politics. Yes, you did. I. I how the f do you know what I did? Because you, I know, I know your jokes of the era. They were great. Well, a, a lot of people think they're great now. <laughs> okay, they're still great. I don't, I don't know if you don't any. <laughs> no, no. What I meant was, am I not woke were, enough for they you? Were jokes That's... that would work on a college campus. Okay, surely I, I, there's a portfolio of jokes that would still if, work on a college campus. Surely. I would hope not. From what maybe, maybe some college campuses, the ones you read about are. Insane. You've given up and on an entire generation. And I have, you don't given, know how to make I have them given up on any place that doesn't even remotely attempt to believe in free speech. Amen to that. I have given up on any place that doesn't even remotely attempt to have free speech. Amen. And thinks that anything that, that they hear that they don't like, that they don't agree with, is violence. These people are nuts and you should be calling them out somebody like you who has standing with kids should be not I joining do when, them when it's you a are science. taking listen to him call out Neil Tyson like you should be doing this and he's like no I'm actually making the problem worse listen to my propaganda Subjectivity you're doing what to it you're yes. doing what parents do you're What's taking that? the path of least resistance I, and therefore hurting the kids and yourself parents ruin both their lives they ruin their and spoiled kids' lives, and they ruin their own lives because the kids rule the roost. So that's what you're doing on a national level. I, I'm feeling more like on the porch. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Really? I feel snapper. like we're in the barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works too. Barber, in, the, in the inner city, it's the barbershop. We don't have porches in the, well, there's the, the, the stoop. So I just, so here's my point. That's my I'm piece. trying to get through to people on my social media and the like, and I see what pisses people off, what they react to, and I say, all right, these are the landmines. I'm going to navigate that. I'm going to navigate. Okay, you're, 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 so I navigate it so that I can see, because my father's greatest bit of wisdom to me, several nuggets, one of them was, it's not good enough to be right. You also have to be effective. And if you reject the college campus, then you have no influence on them. They're not going to say, oh, we're not going to get Bill. Maybe we should change. Then you have you no influence on them. Sweetheart, I can wait till they grow up a little. Okay, I can wait. The, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about with comedians. You're age rank on me? Com comedian. No, you don't know what you're talking about. You know the, uh, <laughs> you know outer space. Well, what I will tell you. I know fucking doing comedy I'm shows. I'm a huge consumer of your trade. Thank you. Yes. Well, I mean, thank you on behalf of all the all, comedians in my trade. I'm a huge trip. consumer. I'm just letting you know that. Of, you mean okay. of all comedians? Yes, of all okay. comedians. Okay, yes. Well, on behalf of all of us, and I, 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 I and thank I have you. A, a fast Jay Leno joke. Woo! I admire Bill Maher's balls for looking at this self-proclaimed man of science and, quite frankly, just calling him out, calling it like it is, and letting him know, like, yeah, you have gotten super woke, you're too woke, and you're taking the path of least resistance, and you're making your kids and the nation's kids worse with your message of path of least resistance. Speaking of path of least resistance, that plot for Neil deGrasse Tyson thickens like a Pfizer blood clot. We've all known the path of least resistance is just be obedient and trust the science, right? Thinking for yourself, that is not the path of least resistance, Johnny, stop it, go obey. So, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he is now the executive producer of a film called Shot in the Arm. What's that about? Take a guess. Here you can see a quick headline about it. Scott Kennedy Hamilton, these people with three freaking names, and Neil deGrasse Tyson discuss Shot in the Arm in <laughs> Skeptics. Neil deGrasse Tyson being an executive producer on it. Let's take a look at a small clip of a the trailer for this Path of Least Resistance film. By the way, you'll see in, in this short clip, you'll see two important freedom fighters, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Del Bigtree. And this film is framing them as lunatic nut jobs doing harm. That'll tell you all you need to know about this film. Let's take a quick look. No, trust me on the science. You shouldn't trust them. Our citizens are part of a medical experiment you are putting on them. It is our children that have been affected. They believe what they're saying. Unfortunately, it's a false belief, and their anger is directed in the wrong place. I want well, thank you, uh, executive producer Neil deGrasse Tyson, for trying to discount people who are doing actual science. 
they're not doing the science like that's who you are and that's how Fauci is. They're just they're just doing science, you know, the, the kind that wasn't like based on someone else's agenda, but the thing that was more based on the laws of physics and human physiology, that old outdated science, just like Neil deGrasse Tyson's old outdated science of two genders. That is a that's old. You know, it's, gender is really a spectrum. If you look at the science of it, that we don't have any of. Speaking of Neil deGrasse Tyson on shot in the arm, he recently appeared on Adam Carolla's show promoting this atrocity of a documentary trying to frame <laughs> skeptics as lunatics. And it, I find it interesting, Adam Carolla, he's quite based. I was on a show a few weeks ago. Uh, he's quite the freedom thinking, free thinking kind of guy, if you know what I mean. But to Adam Carolla's credit, he had Neil deGrasse Tyson on. And Adam Carolla, he didn't just let Neil deGrasse Tyson rule the roost like I'm sure he wished Bill Maher wished he would have let him do. But you'll see Adam Carolla giving him a little pushback. But I think he deserved Bill Maher level pushback. Let's take a quick look. This pathogen uh, and how this pathogen uh, operates. And I think if there was more honesty about the uncertainty and people understood what actually happens on the scientific frontier, then you wouldn't have people saying, you know, you said something different this week than last week. I will never believe anything else you say. Yeah. So that's was, a very tentative me, place to land I, in the middle of all of that. If they were a little more agnostic about a few things, I would tend to believe them. Like when they were saying it definitely didn't come from a lab, I was thinking, well, how do you know it didn't come yeah, from no, so a what lab? They so Neil deGrasse Tyson, we see you, buddy. We see what you stand for, the path of least resistance. A little bit of corruption, if you know what I mean. But nonetheless, thank you for taking a look at this clip with me, watching Bill Maher absolutely annihilate Neil deGrasse Tyson. We've needed this to happen for a long time. Did Neil deGrasse Tyson learn anything? I highly doubt it because he's a man of science and his brand of science is a little bit more on the closed-minded, certain side. We're not dedicated to finding truth, we're dedicated to being certain and getting you to believe that it's true. With that said, my freedom-loving friends, thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you on our next video, but before that, stay tuned to this. What's up, my lion friends? I want you to know this. Having a weak immune system is like having an open border for your body. Not good. Now we might be a little challenged with the open border of our country right now, but one thing you don't have to be challenged by is an open border with your body. What I rely on the most to give me good, strong, fierce immunity so I can have a secure border in my body is Fierce Immunity by Rebel Lion. As a freedom fighter, I love this because Fierce Immunity helps me protect and preserve my most precious freedom my health. Now get this, the expert formulation team at Fierce Immunity has gone to great lengths to find the most essential ingredients that will have the most potent impact on strengthening your immunity. Here's how. Using proprietary technology, they tested different natural ingredients across all systems of the body. And what came back was over a trillion different data points which showed these ingredients in Fierce Immunity are the most potent immune protectors. And the brilliant part is, it's not just the ingredients themselves that are so powerful, it's how the ingredients synergistically work together to strengthen your immune system like nothing else on the market. Some people just passively sit around hoping for good health, or they put their health in someone else's hands. That's not what lions do. Lions proactively take control of their health. And if you're a lion and you wanna secure the borders of your body with a strong immune system, just go to getfiercenow.com slash JP and pick yourself up a bottle of Fierce Immunity or get on a monthly subscription program. It's time to get fierce.